So hello and welcome back to the computer lab and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to cut out a shape uh, leaving a transparent background so cutting out a shape from an image and leave that with a transparent background so uh, essentially punching a hole through the image uh, and this question came from one of my viewers from another video and it was from Cindy Gay and it was is there a way to cut out a shape a rectangle out of an image leaving a transparent hole so if that's something you're interested in please do carry on watching Okay, so before we start, I am not affiliated in any way with Affinity or uh, any of their products, Photo, uh, but I do like to show people how to use them. Uh, so if you are interested and it uh, does help you this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos and also hit me up with any comments below, um, any questions about Affinity Photo. Okay, so let's get started. So I've downloaded a couple of free to use images um, from Unsplash, I think it was the one that's built into, um, yeah, Unsplash, it's the one that's built into Affinity Photo. So you've got Pexels, Pixel Bay, and Unsplash. So I've just done a couple on there, downloaded two images that we're going to use. So I'm making sure I'm selected on the layers section. And the first thing I'm going to do is just open this picture up by the Cosmic Time Traveller. Just make sure we get his name in there. So I'm just going to double click and open that one up. And the aim here is to cut this rectangle out of this image. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time sort of tidying it up. You might want to fuzz the edges around just to make it so it looks like a, a bit better. Uh, but at uh, this stage, I'm just going to cut the rectangle out. So like I said, this is relatively easy. Uh, and I'm going to punch the hole through the middle. And this could be any shape. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, but it's just the question I got asked was a rectangle. So that's what we're going to use. So you could pick any of these shapes if you wanted to. I'm going to use the rectangle tool, uh, making sure that we're on the layer there. It can be locked. It's locked at the moment. It doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm going to draw the rectangle on the top of the image. Uh, like I said, you might want to spend a bit more time tidying this up. I'm just going to go so I can make sure I get all the image selected out the back. I'm just going to grab the nodes, just sort of push it out to the edges. Um, and I might want to tweak this at the bottom here if I was being really particular about it, uh, but I'm not too fussed because, like I say, it's just about the process and how to cut this and make a transparent background. So once we've got the image, uh, the rectangle placed on the image where we want to cut it out, we can then go across to our layers menu here. And in the layers menu, just next to the opacity button, there is a secondary menu, which we can do a couple of different things with. So making sure that you have the layer selected that you want to do, uh, remove and punch the hole through, you need to make sure that's selected there. So we've got the blue box, so we know that's selected. Click on the menu and we're going to drag down, go all the way, all the way to the bottom and one at the bottom says arrays, click on arrays. And what this tells Affinity Photo is that this shape here is going to be erased from the image. Now, at this point as well, we can also drag this around. So if it wasn't quite in the right place, you can move it around the actual image and this will punch out the whole the shape that you've got selected out of this particular one. So I'm happy with it is. Again, you can tweak it still here if you wanted to do, if it wasn't quite uh, lined up. But once you've got it right, that is the arrays sort of telling the photo that the um, affinity photo that that's what you're going to do but now we need to save that uh, so to save with a transparent background we're going to save that as a png or export it as a png so we're going to go up to the top menu click on file go to export make sure you've got png selected i'm just going to leave you can change the size here if you wanted to i'm going to leave it the same as what it is uh, make sure whole document selected and then click on export now it's asking me what do I want to call this. So it's in the same folder that we created before. So I'm going to call this uh, window and transparent. Let it export. Okay, so that's the window save. So I'm going to close this one down now. I'm not bothered about saving it. So now we have the, uh, the one that we've done with the cutout in the middle. So if we double click on that one now it will show us the uh, to open it it will show us the image there with the transparent cutout so what good's that you ask well let's place it on top of an image so i'm going to open this one here which was by max dozage uh, is if i'm pronouncing his second name right or her name right uh, but anyway that's the image i downloaded again from unsplash so we're going to double click on that to open the nice picture of the mountains up as you can see there let me just get rid of that so you can see it. So that's the picture. And we're going to place our window frame over the top of that. So again, I'm just going to highlight the picture I want. I'm going to drag it onto the top of this image. 
and now you can see straight away that we're starting to build this up so I could place this anywhere if I wanted to change the view of it and obviously if I wanted to make it smaller I could do that and sort of go around sort of that area um, so we can do lots of things here now uh, now we've got this transparent cutout so I'm going to place it maybe I may make it full size in fact we'll just make everything a little bit smaller just so I can see what I'm doing and then we'll drag it to the maximum maybe have it I don't know how it's central but anyway let's have it about there no that looks better we're going to have it over that side so over that side uh, I'm going to select the background over here and I'm just going to crop it down just so uh, to keep things down and tidy so I'm going to crop it just beyond the window because obviously you can't see anything on here so in theory I could go like that and crop it beyond that frame if I wanted to but if I crop it beyond the frame and then click on crop you'll notice it crops the window as well so let me just undo that go to crop again and then we'll just tidy it up to the edge of the frame like so like so that's about right click on enter and there we have it there's our image and you can just notice the top is so I could, it's just showing slightly so I'm just going to push it that little bit more uh, just so it hides that blue bit at the top but that's it now if I open them side by side let's do the let's open that one and let's open the original one and then we'll do window float all let's get them side by side and there you can see so this was the uh, new one that we've created and this was the original photo on the right here um, so yeah changing the image has really worked okay you can just see on this one here there's just a slight uh, on the edge there which maybe just wants a bit of a tweak but anyway I'm not going to mess with it anymore you get the general gist on how to cut out a transparent shape in Affinity Photo okay so I hope that video was useful that's how to cut out a shape from an image in Affinity Photo if it has helped you please do subscribe to my channel please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make and please do hit me up with any comments below they are always appreciated and thanks again for watching the computer lab